This is Byron Gordon for the SES Conference Channel. It's day one at SES New York. We're winding down, but uh, we just concluded uh, the panel on uh, publishers and the changing media landscape. We're speaking with uh, Murray of the New York Times. How do you do? Hi, how you doing? Doing just fine. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Murray, you talked about the changing media landscape, and uh, it's no longer a uh, trifecta of uh, uh, radio, television, and newspaper. Now we're in a completely different arena altogether. Uh, talk about what the New York Times uh, has been doing in response to this changing media landscape. Right. Well, the Times um, understood that, that the world was changing, you know, back in 1995 and when we, when we started our website. And um, we're now the largest news um, site on the web. Um, the company understands and is totally committed in putting all the resources to digital, um, and it's an important initiative, and we're having great success. We've got, you know, 55 plus blogs. We've got, you know, thousands of videos that are getting all over the web on our site. We are the most um, shared site um, on the web where people are sending our information all around. Um, we have lots of interactive um, wonderful content that's on the site that people are engaging in and that's what we're trying to do is to let people know that that the brand is there it's um, you know not just the newspaper on site but it's a very um, interactive news and information um, uh, platform you talked about in particular uh uh, the Times collaboration with Facebook on several campaigns. Maybe you could just talk, highlight a little bit about what, what took place there. Um, well, we, we believe that, that in this new world um, that social media is really important, that people with all the, the noise that's out there and all the plethora of media that has changed and come about in the last several years, we think that it's critical for us to be in the middle of the people that are looking for um, you know what's what is relevant out there so we we have done several programs with Facebook we, we got on gone early um, we understand the, the the social part of it and um, you know between the election and inauguration we had two just uh, wonderful collaborations where we worked with them right after Obama was announced as president we had an ad up on the site which they'd never done before and worked with us on, on doing that and then we offered um, people to become fans we wanted people to engage to start a conversation because we really think that's important to get that that in back and forth one-on-one -on -one communication in today's world and quite successful on many levels. We repeated it with the inauguration. And between the two events, we've now up to 632,000 um, fans out there. Um, and, you know, no one else is coming close in terms of um, other newspapers that um, are on, on Facebook. So feeling now, really good about it. That's wonderful. Uh, now, newspapers face a daunting challenge today. I mean, we're hearing really? <laughs> we're hearing about newspapers shuttering their physical doors, uh, but they remain online entities. What can you tell us about the future of the New York Times as a physical entity? How much longer can we expect there to be a physical newspaper? One day, will it go away? Um, I think it's going to be a long time before the newspaper itself goes away, including the New York Times. Um, as a as a paper, um, it is the physical uh, representation of a newspaper has changed over time from a one sheet up on a poster on the wall to you know it's now a smaller paper. Um, I think there will be a paper for for quite a, a number of years. Um, I, no one's can predict how many, but it's it's not going away. And certainly, we're doing everything we can at the Times to to remain relevant to be. Um, the great paper that it is with great journalism and, um, and reporting. Final question, would the New York Times ever attempt at some point to actually charge for user uh, access to the paper itself as a whole? Um, you know, we, we're looking at all kinds of options and um, we, we, we never say never. Never say never. There you have it, live at SES New York. Stay tuned for more. Keep watching.